Hi, my name is Vivi Kachi, and today we are going to be, uh, well, I'm going to be doing my makeup for you guys. Now, um, this is me without makeup right here, but I'm also going to be, you know, just sort of, um, there's some, there were some questions that I had for myself, because I'm niggling at me, so I'm just gonna, you know, just go ahead and answer those for myself, and I was thinking, you know, maybe they were questions that you think about for yourself, and so I decided, yeah, let's just make a whole video out of it, and, you know, sometimes I just like to wear makeup because it's fun. <laughs> anyway, um, for the background music for this, I'm going to be playing um, some uh, 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 Tchaikovsky. It, I hope I'm pronouncing Right. I never was really good at pronouncing his name, but um, he's the guy who composed the Nutcracker Suite, Swan Lake, and um, he was also the uh, conductor in uh, Disney's Fantasia. So, and that was one of my favorite movies growing up. <laughs> um, that would be a weird favorite movie for some people, I guess, but for me, it's fine. It, it brings good memories. I, I used to always watch it with my um, with my grandma and at my grandma's house. And it was nice. It was always a nice time. We had cookies. It was a good time. So, um, what I'm going to be playing is uh, Swan Lake. Which, um, yeah, it, uh, the ballet is better than the movies, in my opinion. But, page three. Now, I am going to begin with a headband to get my bangs on my face. So. And because I am a lover of cute things, this headband has cat ears. His cats are cute. Everybody knows it. Even dog lovers. Staunch dog lovers will admit, cats are kind of cute sometimes. Of course, dogs are also kind of cute sometimes. See, I got a little cat ears now. I'm officially 5% cuter. <laughs> Which doesn't help much. But, oh well. At least in my opinion. Yours may differ. But, uh, you know what? I shouldn't start with that. Uh, let's start actually with some moisturizing. Okay. So one thing I didn't borrow. Moisturizers. Um. So yeah. I suppose uh, we could start with the uh, first question since you made it this far into the video. <laughs> um. My first question is, why are we here? And the music got super intense with that one. Uh, anyway, why are we here? Well, I am here because I wanted to make a video and put on some makeup. And you're here because you clicked on this video hoping to be entertained. Whether or not that's the case depends solely on my self-meeting mark. Hopefully I do so. I don't think, though, applying moisturizer is really all of that entertaining, though, but perhaps I'll say something funny, like Caddy Wampus or something like that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Caddy Wampus is also a legit word. It just means when everything's just sort of askew. Um, just, this is probably just my basic definition of it. Um, Honestly, if you want an official one, look in the dictionary. I believe it starts with a C. Spelling was never one of my fortes. I do try, though, but I admittedly rely heavily on spell checker. So if, uh, so if I was correct as to what letter it starts with, um, let me know. 
let me know because it makes me feel good when I get it right first try. <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. That feels a lot better. Mm, gear. I think only my younger sister would get that, but whatever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it. Skincare is actually very important if you're gonna do face makeup. I don't know where else you would put makeup, but uh, I'm sure a cosplayer can tell you. Or a drag queen. Always important to moisturize the lips too, otherwise the lipstick will look weird. I just noticed the uh, frame rate on this camera. It is not very nice. Oh well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, we should start with um, cover up because I do have blemishes here. And, uh, yeah, I got magnifying mirror right here, so helps me to see them exactly where they are a little bit better. Plus, you know, I gotta uh, get dark circles. Much like uh, the um, the one dude in uh, Life of Luxury. I'm terrible with names. But uh, when you. Like, I think, though, I think he actually puts makeup on or just naturally has super dark circles on his eyes. Uh, but I am more inclined to believe that it's a bit more of the former as opposed to the latter. Um, because I don't know, it, it does seem, because of, uh, you know, if, if you follow Cinnamon Toast Can at all, like they, they've pointed out that it looks like the dude gets no sleep. And that's part of the enjoyment of his videos, which, to be fair, they are funny. They are pretty funny. Um, I think maybe eventually I'm gonna um, convince my convince my partner to sit down with me and watch them. Just to laugh, you know, just have a big bowl of popcorn and just laugh. I go laugh. Or not equal. At least I don't think so. Hmm. Oh well. That's a question for another time. That's actually not one of my prepared questions. So we're not doing it. Oh, I just put it in another. Now I usually don't go too heavy with concealer because I'm okay if it if after like I apply foundation and everything, if it just looks like a bit of a freckle, totally fine with that. Freckles are cute. And I actually, it might be hard for you to see through the camera I've got, but um, I actually do have a lot of freckles on my face, because I should be wearing more sunscreen. Oops. Which, um, you know, if, if you go through and, like, never wear sunscreen, honestly, freckles are sort of the least precautious, so. I gotta... I'm just, uh, I grew up in a place where it doesn't, like, where the sun doesn't shine nearly as much as where I'm living now, so, oof. <laughs> okay, so that's it with the concealer, so let's go with some foundation. Alrighty. Now, I usually just apply it like so on the sponge and just dab like different corners of my face and then yeah. so um uh, see maybe we can move on to the second question I got hmm. okay like a bit more but we'll see uh what is purpose well when 
it's a noun, it's something set up as an object or end to be attained, or it's a sub, you know, or it's a subject under discussion or action in the course of execution. Uh, when it's a verb, it is the transitive type of verb, meaning um, to propose as an aim to oneself, at least according to Merriam-Webster. Um, different, uh, you know, like different doc uh, dictionaries, I almost said documentaries, uh, will define it maybe slightly differently, but same thing. Nose is kind of red. Okay. I think maybe I might try to do a face mask later. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe I can see if I can make one. I find any uh, good ones to make, maybe I'll post that. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty even actually. Yeah. Alrighty. So let's I typically like to after all that's done, I like to go with the eyes. Just start there, so I'm gonna apply a bit of primer. happens you don't necessarily need primer but it does help a bit um especially if you're like me and you do notice that there are some veins showing on your eyelid like otherwise you kind of have to apply more eyeshadow which isn't so bad with paler colors but I mean at least in my experience. Obviously, everybody's got like a slightly different type of skin tone and situation. So, basically, just do what works best for you. This is what works best for me. So, I think, uh, you know what? This is also just a really good opportunity to show you that I'm just a little weird. But only a little. At least with other things. With makeup, I think I'm fairly normal. Especially since, uh, I mean, I, I do follow. I did follow um, some makeup gurus for a time. Although my favorite one will always be Sophia, uh, Sophia Nygaard. I almost called her Sophia. The two names are rather close together in pronunciation, but. It's uh, Sophia, and I love her. She's like, honestly, her videos are just the right amount of chaos for me. And I also think it's really cool when she does the um, time period dressing, like time period fashions. I think that's really cool. She gets some really cool looks, and. Um, of course, um, if you if you see her on a video where she's not doing the uh, different decades of fashions or whatever, uh, she is um, basically dressed like Morticia Adams, but casual. <laughs> and I hope she takes that in the nicest way possible, because that's how I meant it. <laughs> Alright, so that's my eyebrows done. Yeah. Sometimes they get a little patchy. And it bothers me sometimes. So, I fix it. Now, I'm using some Stila eyeliner. It's a 
liquid eyeliner comes in a pen. So that's fun. I'm just sort of trying to use this a bit more. I do have some pencils though, because I kind of want to do some cool things with the eyeliner. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now for the other side. Anybody who wears makeup on the regular knows. <laughs> okay. okay, so this is probably gonna end up a little thicker on the one side. That's okay. We can always fix with more eyeliner. Uh, yeah, that, that appears pretty even in length at least. Hmm. Looking. Still a tiny bit of a, a wang, as uh, Gregor Cole would say. I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> um. Alrighty. Yeah, I love it. Shadow. Ooh. Fun stuff. Now there's some blues, pinks in here, and I kind of want to accentuate more of a silver. Because I mean, if you if you look in um, if you've seen David Bowie in the Labyrinth, um, I guess that's the shirt I'm wearing. It's a a print of one of the um, promotional posters. It's one favorite shirts. But anyway, um, if you've seen the makeup that he has, there's a lot of, like, silver in there, and I think some slight iridescence. Definitely silver. Definitely in there. So I'm gonna be drawing more from that, and I think I'm gonna just add the iridescence, because it just feels right. So... Yeah, we're gonna do blues, pinks, maybe some purples. Okay, and then I um, also got the uh, the Looney Tunes palette from <laughs> Revolution because I like it. I went with Bugs Bunny because honestly, I liked the colors best, and also it's Bugs Bunny. He's one of my favorite Looney Tunes. I mean, he's. Everybody's one of favorite, like he's pretty much everybody's favorite Looney Tunes. Although my absolute favorite is always Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck's good. Alright. I use the brushes. Now, usually what I do is I go corner, edge, well, not with this one. This one with the edge. And then um, I do above and then center. That's usually what I do. We'll see if I change it up. Um, not going to be doing the exact same thing that um, David Bowie does with his eye makeup. And that's just because I don't have that confidence. He always had that confidence. 
going into stuff like that. It's also kind of sad that you have to talk about it in the past tense. Wait, where did I go? Nice, uh, matte teal color. Oh, yeah. Like, I think I'm just gonna have to, I'm just kind of injecting this with like a dose of 90s. But you know what? I was born in that decade. I liked that decade. It's a fun decade. So, you know what? Don't let the 90s aesthetic die. Because if you do, it'll make me sad. palette I'm going to be using is uh, basically my old uh, kind of like one. I just like it because it's space themed. Yeah, that's the thing with The third question. I thought we Alright, so the fifth question for you. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Um the third question. You know why am I posting videos on this channel? I wanna try to make the kind of videos that I like to see and I and that I think should be more plentiful on the internet. And that's just videos that make you feel good. You know, just videos that are just there for a good time. I think that's a nice thing. Yeah, and I follow channels that, you know, most of them, they make me laugh or they, um, they do some cool things. That's just fun to watch. Like sometimes, uh, I mean, my partner got me hooked on, uh, Dude Perfect. And I just, I think they're just incredibly wholesome and funny. And, and you know what? Some of the tricks they do are really Yeah, another 
another reason why I also post these videos is I think they are kind of helping my confidence, which anybody who knows me will think, you know, if you ever meet anybody who knows me, they'll tell you that's something I, I really need. So. And I would know this because they tell me. I'm like, people make fun of me. You know, and, I mean, that, honestly, that just came from being, you know, just being bullied in school, honestly. It wasn't fun. But, I didn't have it nearly as bad as other people did. So I, you know, I try not to. But I think I am gonna add some more. This is a bit more on the coral side. Yeah, I kind of really want some actual pink. We'll use this brush. I don't know all the technical terms for these brushes. I don't kind. I kind of don't care right now. I'm just being me right now. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Kind of funky. Bringing out some more pinks. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking how this is going. And I think if I get better with um, my makeup game, I'm going to be doing like some more some actual craziness with my eye makeup. Okay. I'm just going to add just a bit more silver up here. Just sort of. Yeah. yeah, I'm kind of liking that. You know, it's not white. Done in a movie, not anywhere near that, but it's kind of like it feels almost reminiscent, which I kind of like. At least reminiscent to me. If you have a different opinion, that's you. Alrighty, um, I think, yeah, I think that's actually my eyes done. Um, I kind of did want to. Do some of these. You know what? I'll just do like a little bit like under the eye. I can just by the way, if you notice any like cuts or jump cuts, basically, it's because um it was sound disturbances. Uh, you know? Everybody knows that adage. And they always happen while you're recording. It will be dead silent before, and then all of a sudden. Okay, good. Yeah, 
think I'm definitely liking the purple eyeliner here because it is bringing out the brown in my eyes. It's a nice shade. And then I'm going to use teal. some silver I know people usually use white for that but I find that the silver works really well too Maybe they ought to make a first and then the contour, just in case there's fallout. You can cover it up that way. Alright. Um, um, you know what? That brings us to a... Well, not exactly brings us, but I'm going to bring up the fourth question I have is, should I change my video format? Like, you know, before it was... Uh, just me doing an overhead shot of my crafting, which right now has been consisting of crochet. But, um, I was thinking about doing some other stuff with that, but, um, what do you guys think? I think sometimes I feel like I want to just shake things up every now and then, and you know what? I also view it as kind of a good thing. Really heavy I just like to do this because it makes me look thinner. <laughs> Little secret. Not really a secret anymore. Hmm. But anyway, um, I do think that it is actually just good to change things up every now and then. Although, ironically, I am someone who is kind of a little scared to change, but you know, I just I just try to get myself to power through it because I know it's good for me. Let's 
just like an echo on the wind or is it really resonating with people when I post the video? I don't necessarily see myself as a mover or a shaker, but um I mean I could do the double sense in a literal sense. <laughs> right now. No, I'm shaking. <laughs> but um yeah I guess maybe for this one I kinda need your help because I need your feedback and I'm not getting much feedback I'm not gonna say it. But you know what? I'm just gonna use it as motivation to, you know, just put more out there. Yeah, you know, maybe I just I don't have enough for anybody to form an opinion. You know, that that's always a possibility. I think I want some share. I'm taking this, I'm taking this. Alright. Now let's see. Okay, let me just some nice moisturize. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go with more this one. For my lips. I always say that last. Let that mat down, and I think that's really good. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I do have one final question, and that is, does the void like me? Anyway, um, thank you for stopping by in this video. You know, it was it was actually pretty fun to do, and this is cut on my piece. Not exactly a hairpiece. Oh, by the way, this is the plush room mentioned in previous videos. Finally stuffed it, so that's good. And then, um, in a previous video, I started on a bag. Well, this is the shape it turned into. So now it's a little witchy hat for a plush. <laughs> so, you know. Might as well just go with that. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!